Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Truth's Disappearing Act, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 12. Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. The faithful have vanished from the earth. Neighbors lie to each other, speaking with flattering lips and deceitful hearts. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boastful tongues. They say, We will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? The Lord replies, I have seen violence done to the helpless, and I have heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation, even though the wicked strut about and evil is praised throughout the land. It's impossible to come to a conclusion that truth is hallowed in 21st century culture. Rather, we would be forced to admit, if honest, that truth is seen as optional if lying brings you the results you're after. More than half of school children admit to cheating on tests, the key word being admit. It doesn't help that some teachers are actually promoting test dishonesty. In Florida, a cheating on test scandal was recently uncovered where teachers were rigging the tests to make sure more of their students pass. The motivation is that teachers get bonuses, $25 to $50 per student for passing grades. While this is certainly not the standard, it shades public perception of the integrity of teachers holding their careers to a higher ethical standard. But it does give one pause to recall James Russell Lowell's famous quote, Truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne. Evil, as the psalmist put it, is praised throughout the land. There are plenty of examples of the prevaricating nature of our culture's moral turpitude. Election campaigns are battlegrounds no longer for presenting the genuine character of the candidates. They're all about pandering to the polls and tickling ears. It isn't about presenting clearly an agenda of how the country will benefit from the course of action an aspiring office holder will enact. Rather, it's a matter of hiding the true agenda and how it will keep the candidate's party in power and line the pockets of those who got the candidate elected. And if it takes a small white lie or a big whopper to get there, well, integrity is a little overrated and besides, the end will justify how we got there. Hmm. The psalmist clearly states God's agenda for that kind of forked tongue snakiness. The Lord replies, I have seen violence done to the helpless, and I have heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them, as they have longed for me to do. For you today, it isn't going far out on a limb to say that the only way our nation's young will get it, that truth is important, is if they see it in the generation that's raising them, even when it hurts. No, make that especially when it hurts. That's the time the truth will really set you free. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.